Ministry of Tourism approaches the Indian diaspora as a promotional strategy. We were we are concentrating on overseas to diaspora, which is the largest, one of the largest in the world, and asking them to um, interact with the local tour operators and the travel agencies and other mm -hmm. local um, population there. So we are significant presence, Indian significant presence in USA, in the Middle East, in uh, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. Hyderabad Aviation Summit to open next month. We are going to uh, inform to the public and to the government the potential of. Uh, 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 f uh, you know, uh, travelers uh, ex Hyderabad are getting into Hyderabad. C capacity of uh, the airport, which is uh, built for 40 million passenger capacity, whereas as of now we are handling 12, 20, 000, 20 million uh, passengers. So, how do we boost up the footfall uh, for which uh, GMR wanted uh, the trade to identify uh, the destinations where? Uh, they need direct flights to Hyderabad. This aviation summit is all about the trade, making noise with the government, making them aware that the people of Andhra and Telangana are willing to fly these destinations if direct flights are accessible. South Africa's four-city roadshow concludes with a bang in Mumbai. We are in Mumbai because 48% of our arrivals are coming from this city, which is the largest in terms of arrivals. Out of that, we also have between 45% that is split between mice and business. This is only sensical for us to be in Mumbai. It is a very safe country. Well, like any other country, you have to take care of yourself. Nothing more. And uh, it's a very safe country, so that is the one thing. And it is, South Africa has got everything. Right from the Highland to the Adventure and they are the mother of all the, uh, the adventure sports and all. I was talking to Ethiopian and also to Air Seychelles. Uh, we can look forward to fares which will be like 48,000 plus kind of thing between 48 and 55 which is very reasonable. There's this glamping adventures which is new so that's something which is uh, which is unique and people are looking at doing some glamping stuff in, into the destination as well. Surely once the commercial flights start on the 27th inquiries will start flowing in from corporates. We have experiential and adventure travel so uh, South Africa is the best location in terms of that. Uh, it's got the safaris as well as the adventures like motorcycling tours, cycling tours, diving is a big one for us. So we try to combine all of them uh, in one uh, experience. 